Releasing new music for any artist is both exciting and terrifying. What if they don't like my stuff? What if this song bombs and fails miserably? Well, my friend, if you filled your head with questions like these, then keep watching because I'm going to help you out with anxiety before releasing new music. So let's blast off and get started. <laughs> Konnichiwa friends, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music, helping you become a better indie artist. I make futuristic and outer space inspired dance pop music and every Wednesday on this channel, I'm helping others take their music to level two. If that sounds good, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell. If not, then your new release is going to fail, 100% confirmed, unless you subscribe to this channel. I don't know, music gods told me or something like that. I'm just kidding, it'll be fine. Anxiety is a real thing, my friend. So take a deep breath. Here we go. So going into every new music release, you're probably gonna feel some sort of anxiousness. It's so exciting to share our art with the world, but it's hard to ignore all those horrible thoughts that creep into our brains once everything's set in stone. Like, oh my God, this is happening. Oh crap, did I do everything right? Is it really finished? My music doesn't sound as good as theirs. I hate it. What if my CDs come back printed wrong? No one's gonna like this. Everybody has artistic self-doubt, even the ones who seem most confident. Anxiety management and your mental health are super important to take care of. You're sharing something you love and it's really vulnerable. It's totally natural to feel afraid of judgment. I'm a million percent with you. I struggle with anxiety myself, so that plus artistic anxiety, I've had some very not fun nights. You're not alone. So here are some tips that I found helpful for me and will hopefully help you as well. Tip number one, breathe. Yes, breathe. Stop yourself in a frantic moment and take five deep breaths through your nose and out through your mouth. Any doubts and negative thoughts that might occur, just pretend to put them in a little box and then put them to the side. You know they're gonna be there again in five minutes. Nice, even, and controlled breathing is something anxiety doesn't like. It wants you to be afraid and negative. Remember that music is for you, but oftentimes it'll help other people work through whatever they're going through. And that's why you're a creator. So take a few minutes to relax your mind. You deserve this time for yourself. Tip number two, don't listen to other people's new music around the time of your release. If you fill your ears constantly with what other people are doing, you will always doubt and doubt again your new music. Now, this is a really hard thing to do because we're creative types and we love music. That's why we're making it. And you want to feel included on those conversations on social media or your personal favorite artist just released a new album and you've got to listen to it. Don't. The great thing about music is once it's released, it's always available. Plus, if you're filling your ears with other people's music around the time of your release, you can't help but worry if your song is already outdated or not trendy. It's inevitable. So what I do, and you'll get better at this the more you practice it, is I don't pay attention to anyone's new music within about a month of my release, which is not easy to do when you make pop music like I do. Now, occasionally you'll be able to make an exception as you get better and more confident in what you're doing, but I have found that this dramatically decreases my self-doubt and the panic. I'm generally not a competitive person, but I'll totally admit that it's hard not to feel that invisible pressure when you're exposed to everything online. So try giving yourself a break from everybody's music and see how that helps. Tip number three, Take a break from social media and the news. This kind of goes off of what I was just saying, but take periodic breaks away from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, except to watch my videos, obviously. We're constantly exposed to everybody's thoughts and opinions and arguments. And let's face it, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening in the world right now. That feeling of inadequacy and impending doom can really take its toll on your mental health and it's hard to escape sometimes. Now, conversely, I do think that you should be generally informed about what's happening in the world, but it is okay to take a day or two away from all of it. Do something fun, play card games, go outside, meditate, break the routine and do something different just to avoid the pressure for just a little while, especially around the time of your album, EP or single release. Tip number four, tone down the caffeine intake. Okay. Um, I worked at Starbucks for two years, and even though coffee does improve life in almost 
every single way. Everybody's got a limit. Caffeine can trick your brain into producing more chemicals that make you anxious and jittery. If you drink too much, it can put you in a state of fight or flight, and that's not fun. And that's anxiety's best friend. Now, I know personally how tempting it is to have that third, fourth, fifth, or sixth latte, because you gotta get your website designed by the end of today. But maybe some water or caffeine-free tea would be better at that point. And tip number five, find a calming scent you enjoy. The sense of smell is one of the most powerful human senses we have. Do you have a scented candle or oil diffuser of a certain scent that always puts you at ease? Maybe it just always triggers happy memories for you. For me, it's peppermint. I'm celiac, so not only does peppermint tea help my stomach, it's also a very calming smell for me personally. I usually have some sort of peppermint scented candle or something when I'm meditating, and it reminds me of good memories from childhood at Christmas. So peppermint does wonders for me. Find a special scent that works for you, and then keep it handy for when you're feeling overwhelmed. If it's a candle, light it before you do that breathing we talked about earlier. Releasing new music is one of the best moments a musician can have. Self-doubt and anxiety around your music is totally natural and you're not alone. So try these five things out, come back to center, and then carry on. So those are some tips on how to deal with anxiety before releasing new music. Question of the video? What are you releasing next? Is it an album? Is it a single? Is it an EP? Leave me a comment below letting me know. If you're here and you want to check out some of my music, there's links in the description below for you so you can check it out. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller, and I will see you next time. See you later.